My name is uh, Yoji, and so uh, here <coughs> the logo of my organization, Natsukashi Mirai uh, Ancient Futures Association Japan. Uh, this logo symbolizes <coughs> uh, the importance to connect to the earth and connect to the people and connect to the soul, the both uh, outer and the inner. Uh, localization. Uh, I want to explain um, the term Natsukashi Mirai. This is Japanese. And uh, <coughs> Mirai means uh, future. And Natsukashi doesn't have an uh, exact synonym in English. Uh, Natsukashi is something deep feeling spring up when we remember and reconnect to something long forgotten but intimate. So Japanese used to say natsukashi uh, past or natsukashi good old days, but I use this term natsukashi mirai, natsukashi futures, uh, for the title of the book, uh, the beautiful book Ancient Futures by Helena, and uh, <coughs> I translate it, and now the term natsukashi mirai has become one of the important keywords in social ecological culture movement in Japan. Uh, even the, you know the Ryuichi Sakamoto? Uh, <coughs> uh, produced a, a tune titled uh, Natsukashi Mirai. <laughs> um, <coughs> so uh, the movement of Natsukashi Mirai or ancient futures is slowly growing in Japan. Now we have 1,200 members and actively uh, exchanging ideas every day, especially it become more important after uh, March 11. <coughs> And uh, economic happiness was shown um, <clears throat> in 113 places on the same day, uh, on May 20, uh, 22, the day of biodiversity last year. And the first half of the economics of happiness was broadcasted in a major TV program uh, last year. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> Uh, yesterday, uh, as we described uh, the Edo period as a model of ecological life. Uh, I like uh, his book on Edo period. Uh, it has lots of beautiful illustrations drawn by him. But also some more ancient period uh, I like, uh, like uh, Jomon period, a period of hunting and gathering. Uh, can also, I think, be a source of inspiration for Natsukashi Mirai and localization. This is, you know, <coughs> uh, Fukushima nuclear power station. You may know 70% <coughs> uh, of radioactive went to the ocean. This is a map in August, and this is a map in this month. So uh, how can we take the responsibility for this severe corruption for all the people on the earth, for <clears throat> the future generations of hundred years or thousand years, and responsibility for the, all of the life on the earth my mind is crying. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> some street actions by farmers against uh, Tepco. He's my uh, very good friend. Uh, he's a well-known natural farmer, a disciple of Fukuoka. He had a very beautiful natural farm and uh, macrobiotic restaurant in Idate village. Idate is 40 kilometers northwest from Fukushima nuclear uh, plant, but severely contaminated by radioactive. All the villagers were forced to evacuate, and my friend has strong mind, and he says he will never look back, but, um, and he and me are now 
talking to establish a cobalt together in a new place. But his wife is used to say, uh, half of my soul still uh, left in Idate. And uh, <coughs> actually, their uh, laundry is still hanging in their house. So the first lesson of Fukushima is, uh, at least for me, uh, grassroots good initiatives can be destroyed immediately by the nuclear accident. Nuclear power is not compatible with localization. The second lesson is, uh, though I knew it before also, uh, Japan is, I feel, not democratic country. Heavily controlled by corporations and the government. Uh, government controls the information and try to hide the reality. It used to say no immediate negative effect on your health by the radioactive. Very strange wording. Not immediate negative effect. <laughs> Every day they say it, especially in April. Run. It means uh, <coughs> Our health will be affected gradually in a long, long, long run. Yeah. And the government tries to underestimate the, the contamination and negative effect. But the reality is different. So now people of Japan distrust uh, what the government says. You know, the Japanese are, uh, <clears throat> are still in confusion, and, uh, but it is I think uh, also a good sign. Japanese tend to trust the government and follow what the government says. And uh, it was too much. So n now ja Japanese have to think by themselves, not just blindly follow the government and corporations. For me, <coughs> localization is regaining power. Power to the people. Global economic system and consumer culture are, for me, like a vampire, which suck our money and our time and our energy. We need to regain our blood, our energy, and time to live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> fortunately, and well, for, unfortunately, we Japanese are good at making some devices. You may know Shinkansen and uh, very super express train and very convenient, but uh, I don't like it. It cunningly suck our money and time as well as dismantle the local economy. Let us have a quick look at localization movement in Japan. Farmers market is getting popular in Japan and uh, <coughs> Chisan Chisho uh, this is Japanese, and the meaning is locally produce and locally consume. And this uh, term become very popular. Uh, but nowadays, uh, even the supermarket use this concept, so we should be careful for that. <laughs> and, and also a revival of local varieties. Yes, Taikon, yes. We have so many local varieties of radish. Um, and Ogawa Machi is shown in the film of Economics of Happiness. And uh, Ogawa Machi is famous for organic farming, but also lots of uh, effort of localization. Uh, here, the, the locally produced organic tofu, and there are several community restaurants. Uh, even Helena and John uh, enjoyed organic food in this restaurant. And this is a free market, and <clears throat> people can bring uh, something here and can take anything without payment. And <clears throat> in this restaurant, uh, lunch can be free if we provide farm work for a couple of hours. And a small scale biogas plant has been promoted in Japan um, in these 25 years by Mr. Kuwabara of Ogawa Machi. Uh, Kuwabara also appears uh, in the Economics of Happiness. And also a revival of traditional house uh, we call Kominka. Uh, this kind of earth wall 
can absorb the shock of big earthquake. And structure is visible and easy to repair. Uh, construction materials are locally available natural resources. So traditionally, it is built and maintained by the local people without payment. So I myself recently migrated to this kind of traditional house uh, made 200 years ago. And of course, uh, local currencies. We have more than 600 local currencies in Japan. Wow. Half farming, half X is also important keyword uh, for slow life movement and localization. X can be anything, uh, can be based on the interest or talent. So this year I want to be like this, half farming and half uh, NPO worker or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it is a new lifestyle uh, for especially young generation. And schools and education programs to learn localization. This is uh, I know agriculture high school uh, to learn the, the organic farming and localization. This is Asian Rural Institute, a training institute for the rural leaders uh, of Asian and African countries. This is, uh, uh, there are eco village movement also in Japan. Uh, the people here, yes, uh, half farming, but uh, half uh, medical doctor. And this is a uh, eco village in the city. Some of the members share the income uh, equally. And uh, <clears throat> this is uh, another eco village in rural area. And transition towns in Japan are emerging. It's around 20. So we have 54 nuclear plants in Japan. My friend, uh, he's a monk and now visiting all the nuclear plants by walking, praying, and sometimes fasting. I myself also join occasionally. Among 54 nuclear plants, most of the plants have been stopped uh, for checking, and two are still in operation. And the second to the last is going to be stopped today. So civil movement is trying hard not to allow the government to restart the operation of nuclear power. Yes, we need your help also. So there is no democratic nuclear plant, right? right? So yes, thank you, yes. Let us say again, power to the people, we should have right to decide important issues which may affect our life. Thank you very much. <laughs>